The Duke and Duchess are up in arms over what they claim was a near catastrophic car chase through the streets of New York last week, but many experts have come out and rubbished the idea that a two-hour car chase could unfold in New York, in Manhattan. I don't think so. And the fallout for Harry and Meg's latest victim playing hysterics may cause long-term damage to their brand. Joining me now to discuss this is Royal commentator Kinsey Schofield. Kinsey, we've had everyone from the NYPD to the New York mayor to New Yorkers like Douglas Murray on my program last week rubbishing Harry and Meg's claims and even friends of the royal family are reportedly mocking the couple over their marathon Manhattan car chase. Uh, what has been the fallout of this latest self-created controversy? Well, I do think you're seeing pro-Sussex outlets turning on the couple and, you know, putting the heat on them in regards to how truthful they are. You know, outlets that before didn't question a single thing are now saying, really, because we talked to your security guard and it seems like you did an intentional pap walk, you know, at, at the exit versus actually <laughs> sneaking out the back. Or we talked to sources that say you tried to stay at the Carlisle on a discount and they were when they rejected you, that's when you decided to stay at this friend's house and did this aimlessly driving around for two hours. So you are seeing media outlets that typically were very forgiving towards this couple start to question their intentions and their stories. Well, the couple are now reportedly demanding the photo agency hand over all the images taken on the night so they can settle the story. Uh, I'll play devil's advocate here, Kinsey. Perhaps the paparazzi company Backgrid uh, should provide that uh, data to them. Perhaps it could prove them right. But Backgrid is saying the material belongs to them and that couple has no rights to it. That's right. They said in America, as I'm sure you know, this was their attorney, property belongs to the owner. Third parties cannot just demand to be given that property as perhaps <laughs> kings can do. Um, they also took another swipe saying that citizens in America would not just hand over something to the crown. We rejected that long ago. My favorite line in the whole thing is we stand by our founding fathers. <laughs> kind of taking a hit at Harry there. Um, I wonder, Rita, if this footage <laughs> I didn't actually... Even, uh, I didn't even that is yeah, brilliant that, that is i did not even register that is hilarious yeah. but i i do think that ultimately if they I, do harry and megan want this footage because it proves them wrong is my question are they embarrassed yeah. that so many people immediately nypd immediately tried, tried to squash this Immediately, the mayor was like, I don't know how realistic that is. These are huge players that are pushing back on two people that think you shouldn't question them because of the way Harry's mother died. And that's not fair to do to William. That's not fair to do to Diana's legacy. Um, but I think that maybe they're embarrassed that there, there's footage out there that proves that they weren't very truthful. Well, there also seems to be this recurring theme of Harry casting Meghan in the Diana role, or I don't know if it's Megan casting Megan in the Diana role, and I, I don't know, it's just a little bit weird and, and, and uh, unhealthy, you would think, and you do feel for William to hear about a near-catastrophic car accident with paparazzi chasing the car. Diana was his mother as well, so to, to, to use her memory or misuse her memory in that way is really, again, quite grotesque. I mean, Harry lied, Diana died. It's, it's the grossest thing I've ever seen. And um, you watched that six hours of Netflix. It was six hours of them trying to paint Meghan Markle as Diana 2.0, and that's simply not the case. Uh, you know, they, like I said, they chose to stay at a private residence. Harry's in charge of their security now. He needs to do a better job. They drove around aimlessly because they didn't want the, paparazzi, the four people following them to know where they were staying. I mean, I, even the New York Times said, why did you not pull into one of the hotel's garages, parking garages, just to, to dodge the photographers, which is what celebrities typically do around New York. So there are a lot of questions being raised in regards to this accident. It was in poor taste. And, you know, I, I think it sent us all for a loop on Wednesday because we were so sincerely concerned until we realized what the details were. Well, if you're wondering why they're doing this, of course, short-term attention may be a factor, but 
they also have all sorts of deals to maintain. They probably want to have another Netflix documentary. The last one, well, yes, it wasn't great entertainment, but they made an absolute fortune out of it. They've got podcast deals with, with Spotify. So they've got a whole industry that they need stories for. I mean, is that a motivation? It's hard to understand why they would come up with a story so idiotic because anyone who's been to Manhattan, you don't need to live in Manhattan, anyone who's been there knows how absurd a two-hour car chase through the streets of Manhattan is. I think they're truly passionate about painting Megan as the new Diana. I think that this is truly... Um, passion driven. I don't think that this was a stunt. I think that Harry really mm. did feel like he was in some sort of um, jeopardy the other night, even though, and then also Rita, just uh, really quickly, there was a 29 year old man arrested outside of their Montecito mansion on the same night. So could Harry have just exploded and released this statement? Absolutely. That's very much, uh, you know, H Harry's MO. Hmm. Mm, interesting. Now, one person buying into the Sussexes story is Oprah's best friend, Gail King. She's also a broadcaster, but we know her as Oprah's best friend. Kinsey, you've got a theory about why Gail has publicly given the couple her support. Uh, why do you think uh, she's doing this? Well, so CNN has just hired Gail King and Charles Barkley to host a new program called King Charles. And it is whispers <laughs> around town are that Gail would like for Megan to be one of her first guests on their show, King Charles, on struggling CNN. So I do wonder if maybe that's why Gail has taken it upon herself to be the one and only individual that's going around town trying to, <coughs> trying to defend them. Well, no wonder CNN's ratings are in the toilet. If this is their idea of uh, groundbreaking entertainment, giving Gail King a show, and then having Meghan Markle as one of her first guests and having the host embarrass herself, buying into this fantasy tale to try to uh, induce the couple to appear. Crazy stuff. Kinsey Schofield, we always love your insights. Thank you for joining me. Thank you.